think it's off there in the distance, right? Oh, yeah, there oh, yeah. it is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa, there it is in the distance. Very good. Lot those. We have arrived at Rosebud, located in an oxygen like low zone, gorgeous. 800 yeah. meters deep, just but off just, the coast. You know, San stop Diego. when you're comfortable. 843. 843. Looks like we can see ribs and that white stuff is probably bacterial mass, I would guess. What's the ship doing? Mike, are those a glass floats in front of the vehicle? They're on the tail, if they're still there. Yeah, the they may be higher. About 6 maybe higher. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it looks cut because it's... Uh, there is a line draped there. Yeah. And there is a... Do you see the sonar um, reflector? Is that what I'm seeing? looks like it doesn't look like anything's okay. going vertical off of it. Craig says there should be no lines, all were cut away, no floats. Okay, that's good to know. So we're good. This is it. So this is it. We don't want to disturb everything, but I know that uh, Craig would like a flyover several times. All right, well, I'll just go along the other side then. We can see both sides of it. I mean, while you're here, why don't you zoom in on the tail end so we can just get a good look at the tail. Uh, this whale fall was put here purposefully, sank with over seven tons of scrap metal so we could study it, find organisms that are making a habitat from it, looking in particularly for Ossidax worms. So it looks like there's some thorny heads using the uh, line and the bones as shelter. I might shelter. Be able to go a little closer. <laughs> That's a nice view. So there's clearly different colors. That's there may be some sponge, but probably most of that's bacteria on the bones. So there's some sediment on top, but also a lot of the bacteria. Bacteria, and the black is probably very sulfitic. Looks like uh, dense mats of uh, bacteria on the other side of the whale. Were those the only? Were those the only lines? The ones at the tail? So these are. Yes, they should be. Okay. So a That's lot awesome. of bacteria. So it's still pretty rich. It's still in its slope. Are you phase. are you comfortable with that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Lisa, can you tell us what we're planning on sampling from this whale fall? Well, I know there is interest in getting some whale bones, uh, one whale bone back, if we find a small enough one. Greg asked if we could zoom in on the upper jaw just to see if there's any ossidax there. I think they don't seem to be up on the... Oh, there's some. Oh, Actually, are those there's some little... I think. Those oh, wow. definitely look like ossidax. How cool. They? Greg, I hope you're watching. Yeah, yeah these are the worms we're looking for. <laughs> so that looks like some of the biggest, healthiest populations, the reddest anyway. So the comment from Greg was that that was likely Osidax roseus. Welcome to our listeners just tuning in. We're here at the whale fall named Rosebud. This whale was sunk here in 2011. You can hear our science team okay. trying That's to decide okay. how to make the best use of our That's instruments fine. left and coring okay. sample material. So we can, how far, uh, how far off? So Greg, you there's one, Back, there's a white bacterial mat, a gray mat, and an amphoretid tube. And those three will go to you. And let's see, Greg says, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome, Greg. I don't see any of that seven tons of steel. <laughs> <laughs> 